Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to thread your sewing machines. This is part one of my new sewing series. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to it. Okay, so what you guys are gonna need to thread your machine are the basics. Um, you're gonna need some thread. This is just my all-purpose thread. I mean, they have all kinds of threads that you can use. But I'm just going to be using all-purpose threads. And then you're going to need a spool cap to hold your thread in place as you thread it. Now, my machine... My machine actually comes with a thread holder that's kind of like horizontal some machines come with um, thread holders that are vertical like upright so me having a spool cap really helps because it helps to keep the thread from sliding all over the place so pretty much it's pretty simple to thread your machine uh, they have diagrams up here which are pretty helpful and I just have a bobbin set up an extra bobbin. And they tell you how you can thread to go to the bobbin. So you can thread like that. And then you lock your bobbin in place that way. So then you press your pressure foot so you can thread your bobbin. And then over here, this solid black line. This is what you follow to thread your machine. So that's what we're going to follow. I'm going to set it up for you guys. Now, how you want your thread to go, I'll show you guys, kind of, okay. Now, most threads come, you see this little nick right there? That is how they come out of the store to have your piece of thread like on hand right then so you can unwind it. Now, what you don't want to do, you don't want to have this, this part facing this way so you want to have it facing this way so that way when the thread is unwinding it won't catch so I'm going to turn it this way now I'm going to place my spool cap get a spool cap that's the size of your thread it's on my hand I'm just going to put that there now I'm going to unwind some thread. What you're going to see me do is go underneath this loop right here. It's a loop. Hook your thread under there. Make sure it's good to go. Then you're going to hook it under here. Now it has arrows that you can follow. Like four and two. I'm going to do, I'm going to go down two, it says two, go down, three goes this way, then you go up to four, now four has this little metal piece on the inside, so I'm just going to raise my needle by using my a uh, hand wheel on the side, my hand wheel on the side over here, and I'm going to pull that through there and pull it down. Okay, now that I have my thread looped in the little metal part, I'm gonna bring it down. Let me zoom in for you guys. Right. Now, once you're down here to where your presser foot and your needle, all that good stuff, my machine actually comes with an automatic threader. So once I have my thread in and all that stuff, it will automatically thread as long as I push down a little lever for it to do that. Now I really appreciate that on my machine because it kind of saves time 
what is I'm trying to force like force thread through this little small hole and you know sometimes that can just be a pain in the butt so I'm gonna be showing you the automatic thread away today now I'm gonna go take my thread behind this little bar here and to do my automatic threader I'm actually gonna let my pressure foot down and I'm gonna take my thread over the top of this little loop here Look, not loop but little angle and under like that it's like over and under and I'm going to drop it down make sure my thread is kind of in the middle of my needle eye and press okay doesn't want to act right <laughs> okay now, I'm going to turn my machine sideways so you guys can see. It actually creates this um, loop. This little loop of thread right there, if you can see it. And then you, you would just, whoopsie, you would just pull it on out. And bam. I mean, it's, it's pretty much done. As long as you have your bobbin at the bottom. That's another video I'm going to show you guys how to wind your bobbins. So, that's pretty much it, you guys. And you're done. So, you can start sewing as long as you have your bobbin at the bottom with your coordinating thread or whatever you plan on doing. You're pretty much good to go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this simple video. Um, I think I'm going to make like a like a basic simple tutorial you know for you guys like a sewing series and I will have a blog post up about how to thread your machine where you have pictures and all that good jazz so hope to see you guys in the next video bye